the war. I'm living life in the war. I'm living life in the war. I'm living life in the war. 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 Positions, everyone. Quiet on the set. Cue talent. Cameras rolling. In three, two, one. Remember the name, riding the waves, I'm like it's that they trying to be clean, keeping their pressure void in all of Welcome to the Hollywood Summit Show. Um, I'd like to welcome you once again to the Hollywood Pub. You know, when we're here, we usually do interviews, and, and that's exactly why we're here today. I'm here with co-partner of Kingdom of Light Entertainment and the Gauntlet Director, Matt Escondero. Hi, Matt. How you doing? Hey, Morgan. How you doing? Uh, Matt, I really want to thank you for, for doing this interview with us um, tonight. And it, it's awesome that you would take the time to really come onto the show um, and, and do that. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's great to be a part of this. Um, so did you get a chance to go to Sundance this year? And if so, uh, how was it? Sundance was an amazing experience. It was my first time going, but we uh, actually did a lot of new press for The Gauntlet and a uh, previous film that I just wrapped production on uh, about a year ago. I just wrapped post-production called The Victim, so we were doing a lot of uh, distribution screenings and getting word out on that. And uh, yeah, it was a great experience to be at Sundance and be a part of that community and everything. It was, it was, a, it was a good good experience. Um, at what point in your life did you realize that you wanted to work in the entertainment industry, Matt? Well, um, it's a good question. When I first went to USC, I knew that making movies and working in entertainment was something that I really was passionate about, something that I knew I wanted to do. And, you know, just from there, it just kind of took off, and it's been kind of nonstop since then. So, before you even started your career, you start out with an award um, for Best Horror Short, The Taking. Um, was there any certain point in that where you realized you were really on to something there? Yeah, with The Taking was a it was an amazing short film. I think it was like a, a launching pad for me, and it was a it was one of those projects that you just when you were on it, you knew there was something special about it, and you know it just kind of took off, and a lot of people connected with it, and you know won a lot of awards and whatnot because of that. How did you come up with the idea of finding undiscovered talent? via virtual casting uh, and how did that evolve or how did that end up coming together with Yippie? Yeah, I got introduced to, uh, to Yippie through Charles Rieger, the producer and co-founder of, uh, of, of the website and uh, he pitched to us the idea of tapping into a social network to, you know, to, to, to look for talent and I thought it was a great idea when he first pitched it to me and, you know, it's just, it's really taken off to give us this access to a huge pool of talent from all over the world to be in projects. It's been an amazing, amazing experience. So how did you, how did you get Yippie.com to tie into the film The Gauntlet? Tell uh, us the concept of how that actually come together. The producers and I decided that we would use The Gauntlet as a testing ground to just kind of test the waters a little bit and see how we could access the you know the huge pool of talent just see how how uh, you know what would happen you know if we if we did this and we've been s just shocked and surprised at the huge reception we've gotten and the thousands of actors across the world that have you know that, that have posted auditions and have you know tried to get into the movie and everything tried to try you know posted auditions and everything uh, how did you find Bailey? Yeah, with Bai Ling, I, you know, when I read the script, I knew she would be a perfect actress to play that part. I mean, just instantly off the page. So, you know, we went to, you know, the traditional method. We went to her agents and worked out a deal and this and that. And I met with her and, you know, pitched to her the idea of casting her in the project. And we really just hit it off. And she really connected with the character. And from there, it just kind of just went off in history. What kind of experience was uh, working with her on set? Yeah, working with Biling was an amazing experience. I mean, just working with someone with that level of talent and dedication was just, it was eye-opening. I mean, every day on set, she just showed up and was just always just consumed by the character, always in character, always dedicated. And it was, it was just, it was, it was cool to just see somebody with that much passion and really just got the role. And, you know, I didn't have to do much, you know, when somebody comes in with that level of, uh, 
dedication. So it was, it was cool. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun, too. What made you want to start your own company? And what inspired Kingdom of Light Entertainment to focus on filmed entertainment? You've got such a wide spectrum here from uh, commercials, television shows, music videos, movies, documentaries, um, and the financing of these, these film entertainment. What brought that about? The Kingdom of Light Entertainment and I was co-founded with my partners Jonathan, Jonathan Chi, Wellington's son, and uh, Danny Wei, and we just kind of came together to bridge the gap between Asia and America. And uh, what we really wanted to do was find a way to tap into you know the Chinese market and the American market, shoot movies in Asia for a lower cost, but bring in you know Hollywood level production value and really push push uh, push the quality of, of product and TV shows and movies and stuff that we shoot and so far it's been a really huge success and I think we're tapping into something new and exciting so it's been it's been really cool to, to be on the ground level or something like that. So now that we know all about your dreams and your expectations, a group of talented members of Yippie.com create a subculture out of Yippie.com, their network. That subculture begins work on a 3D film, uh, runs into an internet comedy show that actually goes sag. Um, I guess my question to you is, how do you feel about being interviewed by your own monster, so to speak? It's amazing to see what Yippie has accomplished in such short a time and see how the different members have come together and you know collaborated and it's just awesome to see that I think it's that happens you know it's one of those things that just clicked with people and it's just taken off and it's for me it's exciting to see it happen I know you have more projects coming up tell us a little bit about those projects and uh, how they'll be tied into yippie.com actually we have you know, several different projects in development I can't really talk about them right now kind of you know uh, it's secretive but you know we're definitely going to be using Yippie.com to to search for the talent, and you know, even at a ground ground level from the beginning. You know what I mean? Now that we've seen the huge potential of you know amazingly talented and cool people all across the world who just they just need a platform. They just need a, a venue to be heard and to be seen. And you know, you know, Hollywood uh, has always been looking for something like this where we can basically just find talent all across the world and you know, discover people that otherwise wouldn't have been found. What to you makes a good audition great? And what are you looking for when an actor comes to you and auditions? In an audition, whether it's filmed and put online or in person is the same thing, the same thing as you look for in an audition that's posted online as that you look for in a regular audition that isn't, you know, just you know, natural kind of talent, uh, an understanding of the character, listening, the transitions and beats in the scene, making sure that, you know, that those are done right. And obviously the only difference is, is now that you're shooting your own audition, just, you know, making sure the lighting is correct and, you know, making sure it's in close up so we can see what you're thinking and, you know, just following the guidelines. But basically it's the same as, you know, old school methods of, of auditioning. What makes a good network productive for you? And how do you include that in your filmmaking? Yeah, I think networking online through Yippie or through other resources is what makes it, you know, interesting or special is finding those people, those like-minded people who have the same goals and have the same kind of end results that they want to accomplish and collaborating, working together to achieve those goals and tapping into each other's strengths and weaknesses and finding those who are better at one thing than you are at, at, at that thing and just kind of coming together and really kind of bridging that gap and really just collaborating in a way that you couldn't do years ago before, you know, social networks and before Yippie. I thank you so very much for your time and I wish you luck this year, Matt. On the scene is a mean team down with a thing pursuing
doing the dream Brown hustling, they trying to get green They plotting the scheme, trying to bring Things that will ring the bells of the people So that they can't remember the name Riding the wave, so like instead They trying to be clean, keeping it fresh Avoiding all of the devilish schemes And all of the haters, and all of the fakers Nobody can break them, nobody can shake them Heartbreak is what really makes them With the heart of a lion, soul of a beast They never giving up, and ready to peace I was up on the feet, niggas riding to the beat Coming up a new feature, but all for the peeps They got what it takes to take the cake So to shake your bacon